Hello everyone. So today's topic is solution of a right triangle. If you consider this triangle right here, then you know that how many sides we have. This is let's say A vertex C and B. Then we have three sides small c small b now how many sides we have we have three sides and how many angles we have obviously we have three vertices then we have three angles okay now these three sides and three angles are the elements of triangle elements of triangle now the process the process of finding the unknown elements unknown elements of triangle is known as the solution of triangle solution of triangle or solving a triangle okay so if you have given a question that find the solution of a triangle it means that you have to find out the unknown elements in the, in that triangle there will be sides or angles so basically we have how many elements six elements of a triangle and the process of finding the unknown elements of triangle is called solution of triangle so there can be four cases in which we have given data of the triangle in which few sides maybe one side or one angle is given sometimes two sides and so two sides are given sometimes two sides and one angle is given and so on so today we are going to do two cases the case one and case two in the first case measurement of one side and one angle is given okay so here if we are given one side then this side can be perpendicular or base and this angle is acute angle because this is the right triangle one angle is of 90 degree and we have given another angle that is acute angle and one side this is the first case now in this case we have to find out two remaining sides right and one angle is given one angle is 90 degree and one angle we have to find okay these three elements are unknown in this case and the second case is when measurement of when measurement of hypotenuse and one angle is given one angle is given So here hypotenuse the side which is opposite to 90 degree okay and one angle this angle is an acute angle let's say alpha or beta so these can be the two cases in which we have given data and now in the second case we have to find out perpendicular and hypotenuse means two uh, sorry perpendicular and base two sides and one angle these are the unknown elements of this triangle okay so exercise 15.4 find the question number one find the unknown elements of the following right triangles we have given this triangle with vertices pqr 
and one angle this is the first case one angle uh, sorry second case in which we have given one angle and one side which is hypotenuse okay so now here we have unknown elements are here we have to find out the value of r and p length of this side and length of this side and also this angle okay so first of all let's write the data here okay so we have given we have given measurement of angle at r vertex which is 30 degree we have given measurement at angle sorry at vertex q which is 90 degree and we have given hypotenuse which is hypotenuse which is equals to q and the value of q is 1 okay and we have to find out we have to find out base perpendicular perpendicular which is R here we have to find base another side which is in this case is P small p and we have to find out the measurement of angle A to vertex P so we have given three elements of triangle and we have to find the remaining three elements okay so the solution let's just start doing this solution now for perpendicular perpendicular r we know that we have given hypotenuse here right so perpendicular over hypotenuse is sine theta right so here theta will be 30 degree perpendicular is r which we have to find out and hypotenuse is equals to 1 we have given hypotenuse q equals to 1 now let's substitute the values and find the value of perpendicular sine 30 degree perpendicular is r and hypotenuse is 1 okay so if you simplify this so if we simplify this and we know that sine 30 degree is equals to 1 upon 2 now let's substitute the value sine 30 degree will be replaced by 1 upon 2 is equals to r we can say that r is equals to 1 upon 2 okay so we have done with the perpendicular side now for base base is small p here now for base we know that base over hypotenuse is equals to cos theta right so here theta is 30 degree 
base is base is P here which we have to find out and hypotenuse is 1 okay so let's substitute the value here cos 30 degree is equals to P basis P over 1 now we know that sine 30 degree sorry cos 30 degree is equals to under root 3 upon 2 so let's substitute the value under root 3 upon 2 is equals to P or we can say that P is equals to under root 3 upon 2 this is the value for base okay so I don't have a space I will adjust here so now it's time for the third angle the third unknown angle for measurement of angle it vertex P now now we know that sum of sum of angles in triangle triangle is equals to 180 degree right it means that measurement of angle it P measurement of angle at Q plus measurement at angle R is equals to 180 degree so we have given measurement of angle P now we have to find it out substitute the value of measurement of angle Q we have given here 90 degree plus measurement of angle R is 30 degree 180 degree so simplify it measurement of angle P is equals to 180 degree minus this 90 degree and 30 degree will be 120 degree so measurement of angle P is equals to 60 degree that was the last element of the triangle okay so this is how you solve it now let's move, move towards another problem another question before that I want you to note it down question number one I have done question number one part one and you have to do question number two and four not three because three is related to question uh, case number three and four that we'll do tomorrow but you have to do this question question number two and four of question number one okay that is your homework now this is question number two solve triangle ACB when measurement of angle C is 90 degree okay and we have given measurement of angle B is equals to 60 degree and A is equals to 2 centimeter this is the case number one in which one side is given and uh, one angle is given okay so first of all we will draw a triangle and we'll see that how many things elements are given and how many we have to find out okay so this is the triangle okay okay so let's say that this is a c and b okay and now we have given that the side measurement of angle at B and this angle is given 60 degree and A is equals to 2 this is given okay and we have to find out this side which is according to this angle is perpendicular and we have to find out this side which is opposite to this 90 degree it means this this is hypotenuse okay so let's write the data first data. so we have given so we have given 
we have given measurement of angle B which is 60 degree and we have given measurement of angle at vertex C which is 90 degree and we have given A side which is 2 centimeter okay and we have to find we have to find three unknown elements we have to find side B sorry we have to find side uh, side B which is perpendicular here we have to find perpendicular which in this case is B okay the side which is opposite to the 60 degrees perpendicular we have to find that then hypotenuse which is C in this case in this triangle and the measurement of angle it vertex A this angle we have to find out okay so this is the data now let's start solving this solution so first of all for perpendicular for perpen per pen d q l r which in this triangle is b so we have to use the ratio in which we have given perpendicular plus we have given given a side which is base the side which is known to us is base and we have to find perpendicular so we know that the perpendicular and base ratio is called tangent theta so we'll apply that here okay so perpendicular we have to find in this case a is given which is according to this 60 degree is base and the ratio that will be tangent theta okay so in this case theta is equals to 60 degree okay perpendicular is b which we have to find out and basis in this case basis a which is 2 centimeters okay now let's substitute the value here tangent 60 degree is equals to perpendicular is given which is b and base is given 2 Okay, so if you simplify this, then you know that tangent 60 degree is equals to under root 3. So let's substitute the value here. B is equals to B upon 2. Further simplify is equals to B means that b is equals to 2 under root 3 centimeters okay now we have done with the perpendicular side now with the with the second side which is hypotenuse here for hypotenuse which in this case is c now we know that base we have given base here right base over hypotenuse is equals to cos theta so here theta will be equals to 60 degree again and base is in this case base is again 2 and hypotenuse we have to find that is equals to c okay so let's substitute the value now 
सो कॉस सिक्सटी डिग्री इज इक्वल्स टू बेस इज टू एंड हैपाचनस इज सी ओके नाउ वी नो दैट कॉस सिक्सटी डिग्री इज इक्वल्स टू बिकॉज कॉस सिक्सटी डिग्री इज इक्वल्स टू वन अपॉन टू सो लेट सब्सटीट्यूट वन अपॉन टू इज इक्वल्स टू टू अपॉन सी फ्यू डू क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन दैन दिस इज इक्वल्स टू सी इज इक्वल्स टू टू मल्टीप्लाई टू विच इज इक्वल्स टू फोर सेंटीमीटर्स दैट इज द सेकेंड अन नॉन एलिमेंट ऑफ द ट्राइंगल दैट वी हैव डन नाउ लास्ट फॉर measurement of angle it a i will do that so to highlight okay the third one now we know that sum of angles all angles in triangle is equals to 180 degree so measurement of angle it a measurement of angle it b measurement of angle it c is equals to 180 degree so let's substitute the value keeping this measurement of angle it a same substitute the value of measurement of angle b is 60 degree plus c is 90 degree we have given here in question and 180 degree so if we simplify this then measurement of angle a is equals to 180 degree minus this 90 degree and 60 degree will be 150 degree so measurement of angle it a is 30 degree okay that's it so this is sub part question number sorry sub part 4 of question number 2 question number 1 we have done and in this triangle again first of all you have to make a triangle here with 90 degree a c and b you have given measurement of angle a which is 45 degree and you have given a side which is c is equals to 3 under root 2 which is same as the question number 1 which i have solved for you previously so you have given hypotenuse and this angle and this angle this 90 degree okay so you have given measurement of angle at c which is 90 degree you have given measurement of angle a which is 45 degree and you have given hypotenuse which is c is equals to 3 under root this is given okay and you have to find out measurement of angle at b vertex and you have to find out the side small b and small a you have to find out according to this angle this a is perpendicular perpendicular a is equals to you have to find out and according to with respect to this angle 45 degree this base is b and these are the unknown elements which you have to find out see now it's up to you we have given perpendicular uh, we have to find out perpendicular and we have given this hypotenuse so we know that perpendicular over hypotenuse is equals to is equals to what sin now you have given angle you have to find out this value which is equals to a and you have given this hypotenuse and so on this is how you can solve the problems so now question number 2 3 5 and 8 of question number 2 these four questions are your homework i'm sure that you will do that i received many many homeworks which made me so happy to see uh, so much improvement i must say that in many many copies i checked yesterday and i i also um, feel so so good that 
you are doing your homework and you are focusing on your writing and concepts and co method of solving questions so i'm sure that you will today's homework and send me before it today and i will see you tomorrow again tuesday with the with this case third and fourth of the same solution of triangle so take care spy